All right, welcome to our video today. Um, this is the look I'm going for. This is what I want. I want the white roll bar to frame the tall back black seat. The seats I went with were uh, Cobra seats, the monocle model that's available at JEGS. I'll show you uh, an ad for that here in just a minute. You'll also need a universal seat bracket, which I picked up at Amazon. I'll also show you that real quick here. So I did a lot of research on seats. And uh, I know the purists are already rolling their eyes because it's not a low back seat, but it's not your car. So uh, once I got looking at a lot of people that did these tall seats, I got pretty excited and uh, went and looked at different sizes and ordered a set that would fit in the car based on their dimensions. However, the one thing I didn't look into was how the seat belts mount. It was really hard to find information from anyone else's installations because a lot of people didn't like to show what it looked like with the seat belts installed on these taller seats. And that's one of the things I want to talk about today. Um, my conclusion is, is there is no correct way to mount the seat belts for them to be properly installed using a tall seat or even using the standard seat if you have a tall sitting height. Here's what I'm driving at. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about where it comes up. It actually has got a twist to the left and then come up to the seat back and it's resting on the seat back here that's unsat. This is how it should pass through the seat. This angle here from the top of your shoulders should either be zero degrees down to either 10 or 20 degrees depending what reference you use. It's not very much. It's definitely not that. In order for this to work, I got a couple of options. There's a company that should remain nameless that creates something that'll buckle basically to the side of this tube and run a bar straight across here where you can hook your seat belt to to get the appropriate geometry for your seat belt. Uh, I really don't like the way that looks, but another take on that is I could weld a bar from here to here, okay, and then hook it up. I kind of like that. That would look pretty good, I think. Um, but again, from the back, you're going to see that bar going across. Uh, third option is to get one of these seat belt buckles like this right here. And you'll hook the buckle, bolt it directly to the pipe right here to get your appropriate angle for your seat belt. Now, I kind of lean towards this one a little bit because it's the least obtrusive. You're basically going to just see the seat belt protrude from here. From the back, you're not going to see anything coming across your roll bar. It's kind of clean. I like it. So there it is. There's my dilemma. What's your opinion? I want you to go ahead and reply in the comments below. Tell me what you think. Please subscribe to our channel and look forward to the next episode coming out soon.